Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I just finished Goodnight Pun Pun, Volume 2. Now, I did, this is, um, Volume 1, um, and I did a 1.5, like I was halfway through the second book, review of, uh, Goodnight Pun Pun. And this one is really disgusting, like, I figured out by the end of, okay, spoilers, I figured out by the end of the second book, they're not, most of the main characters who, for some reason, the main characters aren't really in the book. They don't dominate the book. The uncle and his story dominates the book. But the main characters from the first book, mainly Pan Pan, who is, um, this guy's Pan Pan, and this guy's the uncle, so that the family looks like duck condoms. Um, but uh, the uncle is mainly who dominates this book, and uh, the other characters, I mean, it's just, it, it focuses on sex so much, and I, like, I have to keep in mind that sex is... I don't, I really don't like thinking about it. I don't have a, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to say whether or not I have a lot of sex, but, um, I don't, I don't want to talk about sex all the time, but this, uh, the author here sure likes talking about it, and, um, I'm not saying anything bad about him. He seems to be a genius of art, artistic, whatever. Um, but, uh, they, they talk about sex, and so the first book, the, the second book, I, we find out at the end, they're just starting high school at the end of the second book. So they're probably like grade seven, eight in, in the second book. And, um, in the first book, they must be even younger than that. And they're having all these sexual fantasies. And like, yeah, I know that that's normal. Like, humans, sex is part of the human experience or whatever. And it's like, to a degree, it's experienced at all ages. In the first book, it's mostly um, the kids being interested in each other. And in this one, the uncle, who is said to be 33, uh, I'm 33, but I'm, this is a book that there's real life and not real life, and I'm not I, I'm not Pun Pun's uncle by any means. Uh, so the uncle starts dating a 16 year old, and there's this graphic sex scene, and I for, I don't even I just kind of like skimmed through it really fast. It was like a lot, four or five pages, double-sided pages of this sex scene with the uncle. Um, right after, and it came right after this awesome mat, uh, this awesome um, maze, which I posted on Facebook. Um, there was this awesome, you know, there's this thing that we used to do as kids, um, is draw these mazes um, and uh, so it's like ah a piece of my childhood and then like stuff like I don't know what the statutory is but <sighs> and then so and then the uncle continues to date this girl which I guess is the right thing or like and you know there's probably parts of the United States of America, there's probably parts of Canada, and there's probably parts of Toronto uh, where a relationship like this is condoned. Um, it's people don't feel the need to intervene. Um, it's just how it's done. And, uh, 33 and 16 is a big difference. 
Like they have that saying about um, half your age plus seven. I think I saw that in a movie. Um, which you know, I'm not gonna express my opinion on any of this. I have a girlfriend. I've been going out with her for nine years. She's one year and eight months younger than me. I think that's socially acceptable. <laughs> uh, it's just, I don't know, someone told me to read these. So before I figured out that this book is like really, really disgusting, but of course very well drawn and very well written and compelling. Um, and it kind of, I guess it like confronts you with uh, I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, all right. first of all, it confronts you with these issues, and second of all, with Donald Trump, this is 2007, but uh, with Donald Trump, and with Bill Cosby, and with like countless other celebrities, uh, I don't need to be confronted. It's like we don't we don't need a we don't need a piece of media to use as our icebreaker to talk about these issues. Um, I mean, I I can see how people would feel the need to be talked about. Um, certainly, they need to be dealt with. Like if if a, a teenager got pregnant and decided to keep the baby for whatever reason, um, that's a serious problem. And if, like, the power imbalance and all that, uh, it's just... So, um, anyways, the, the first, like, one-fourth of the book is really not that bad. Um, because it's a the the first book is a pretty sweet tale, uh, uh, um, a pretty uh, heart heart warming tale, despite all the um, everything I talked about. Um, and so I have bought the third book, um, which I will read soon. Um, Apparently six have been released so far, and there's going to be a seventh, which will be the final one. And the main reason I'm reading these is because an online friend suggested it to me. And uh, it's like, honestly, I was an alcoholic for like maybe 15 years. Arguably for 15 years I was an alcoholic, and I was not a reader, and this is getting me back into reading. Um, and I've always uh, felt like it's kind of, Japanese culture has kind of like a high class, but also still somewhat childlike um, uh, appeal to it. Um, I personally think Western culture, like USA culture, which is Canada culture basically, um, I personally think Western and Britain, whatever, who cares? I don't care. Just, I personally think the culture that is on network television or whatever you want, <laughs> you know, like, just, uh, see, it's so hard to talk about. Um, anyways, I just, I, I feel, I feel all, I feel there's a lot, a lot that, like, quote unquote, the, the, the white culture, what, uh, Donald Trump with the racists, man, that's nasty stuff. See, see, you can't even talk about it now. <laughs> anyways. So I guess it's a good thing I started. Uh, and then is that racist? Anyway, it, so I went to the library. These were a dollar each. Um, it seems to be a manga based on the board game Go. And um, 
I haven't read any of it. I'm gonna just open this up. Good, is it? It is in English. Uh, here's them playing Go. It looks like it's not all. This looks a lot, a lot simpler. Um, that's for it. This is a more probably safer book, but um, it's not all about Go. And my mom is coming downstairs, so I'll see you later.